Hey, so, Hello. So, so you were at our meeting last I was, year. I was at the at your meeting in October last year, just what uh, three, four months ago, and uh, I brought a friend. I've never been to a deliverance meeting before. It was completely new. Uh, another girl invited me. I didn't know what to expect. I thought seminar was interesting. I didn't even know there would be a deliverance. And then uh, the first to go was my friend, who I invited last minute. I was on, already on my way, and a thought came to me, call her. And I came and picked her up, and we drove here. So when we finished communion, demon threw her on the, on the floor. I didn't know what was that. happening. And it was really violent. Uh, anyways, it took about 40 minutes or so for mm -hmm. her to be delivered. And Over like a thousand Jezebels? A thousand uh, witchcraft spirit witchcraft. and one Jezebel. Wow. And I've never seen anything like it. I come from Baptist background. <laughs> and I was I was just speechless. I was out of words. I did not know. I mean, I, I encountered God's supernatural power. Mm like never before and I've been in full-time ministry for a long time in my life you know so um, it was just a few days before I was heading on a ministry trip to Ukraine and during the meeting I recorded uh, about two minutes of, of the, deliverance. the deliverance of my friend and then the ladies told me to you know turn it off I can't do it but I did catch two minutes so I'm going to Ukraine as I'm on the airplane I was uh, packing the whole, whole night I didn't sleep the night before and I'm on a plane kind of drifting off and I it was amazing experience this amazing experience that I had it was as if somebody was sweeping my soul my heart and I was just like I renounce I renounce I was just repeating uh, like as if Holy Spirit was bringing things to to me but it wasn't conscious it was um, I don't know how to describe that but it, it was just this feeling in my sleep uh, as if I was uh, my my heart was being cleaned up and wow. I was just like yes yes I renounced this too this too this too <laughs> and at the end I had this euphoric amazing feeling I, I, I felt as if there were many angels around me Wow. anyways that happened on the plane I come to Ukraine Again, with the video, with the video, I gather friends together and in I the started, Ukraine. In Ukraine, and you showed them the video. And I start sharing my testimony, what I saw. My brother first believed; he was shocked. We started watching other videos on your website. I, to make the story short, he casted uh, six demons from himself. Now, this is a very conservative, traditional Baptist background church. Then we get a bunch of friends together, start sharing, and one of the a teaching pastor was there, and he's like, "No, what are you, what are you talking about? This is some charismatic stuff. Like, stop! Like, it's all nonsense." And then, uh, then I thought, "Okay, this is not time. We need to stop talking about this, right?" And then I thought, "No." I'm, I went and I got my phone where the video was, and I said, "Just give me a minute." And I, I said, "I'm just gonna tell you my what happened, what I saw. I saw it, okay." So I, and then I said, I, I told the story of what happened to my friend right in front of my eyes. And then he's like, no, no, this cannot be. I said, yes, I, I, this is what happened. He's like, show me the video. And then he looks at the video and it's like lights went off. He's like, oh my God, oh my God. And then um, I li let him listen to the teaching about breaking curses. Yes. And then he cast some demons off of himself. Wow. And immediately he started having visions and dreams and hearing God. And and he started preaching at the church, at this Baptist church about demons. <laughs> And, and After getting delivered because of the video. We started a whole uh, like um, spiritual warfare, like classes and teaching and teaching people how to break curses. And it's just, it, it started a whole movement and people are awaking and God is freeing. And as they break curses, they start having visions and dreams and hear God. And it's just, it's just amazing. Now they send me all these dreams to interpret. <laughs> and it's like, it's become a full-time job for me. But it's just, it's a whole... Um, Revival is starting over there. It's amazing. And now this this teaching pastor, he's traveling to other churches in Ukraine, wow. teaching the same stuff. And he's like, I know what God has called me to do. If there may be some friends of yours that are going to be watching this video in the Ukraine. Speak to them in your language. Um, 
Господь освободил мою подругу от демонов на моих глазах. А тысячу а, оккультных духов с нее вышло, и один дух Язавели. А, я в это раньше никогда не верила. Я пришла на это собрание, а, случайно меня пригласила подруга, села на конец, в конце самом думала, если что-то страшное будет, я сбегу. Вот. И когда после хлебопреломления а, мою мою подругу просто на пол демон поверг, вот, ее стало шатать, ее на, она стала орать истерически, и через 40 минут Джей изгнал из нее вот, вот этих тысяча один бесов, вот, это совершенно изменило мою жизнь, вот, в результате много, много моих друзей, включая меня и себя бесов изгнали, и наша жизнь полностью изменилась. А, оказывается, что у верующих людей могут быть бесы, и у многих, а, скорее всего, у каждого второго, каждого третьего есть бесы. Поэтому пришло время очищаться, освобождаться для того, чтобы мы ходили в силе Божьей, для того, чтобы мы испытали силу Христа, которую Он пообещал нам, а, который пообещал нам, сказал, что дела, которые я делал, вы более того будете делать. И надо освободиться от всех этих демонических сил а, и влияний для того, чтобы ходить в силе Христа, а, ради которой, которую Он нам дал и которую Он хочет проявить сейчас на земле, чтобы коснуться людей, чтобы они пришли к Богу. Аминь.